Hi, I'm Joni Petrie, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about how this solar eclipse that happens June 10th will affect you personally according to your sign. Now, remember that eclipses will have effects for six months to a year sometimes. So this is really important that you pay attention to your rising sign and your moon sign. These are going to be points that are very important. Now, if you don't happen to know your sidereal, which this is what I'm talking about, not tropical western, you cannot use that. You have to use your Vedic sidereal place or it will be incorrect. And the way that you can figure out your sidereal placement of your natal moon or your ascendant is go to my website, which is galacticcenter.org and go to my free chart calculator. Now, if you don't understand the North Indian style charts, scroll to the bottom where it tells you explicitly what sign your ascendant is and what sign your moon is. That's what I want you to figure out. So go to galacticcenter.org and figure this out. So now that you have your ascendant sign, sidereal, or your moon, remember the moon is going to be how you feel about things. The ascendant is actually what is happening in your physical life. So both are very important. But let me just say this eclipse is happening at 25 degrees of Taurus, the solar eclipse. And that puts that puts Rahu is at 16 degrees of Taurus and Ketu's at 16 degrees of Scorpio. And let's talk about how this is personally going to affect you because I believe this eclipse is a monumental event and you need to know how to prepare. So if you have a Taurus ascendant, this is affecting you personally physically and definitely in the area of relationships because K2 has been in your seventh house. And this is not easy. And even if your relationship is going well and you are married, then please take caution that your partner may be going through a rough time or they need help. So check that out. This is the area you yourself are going through an enormous change and you probably want to move. You want to change everything in your life with this eclipse happening in the first house. But your partner is going through some major shifts and changes. Maybe they're changing jobs, but you've got to help them as well. Make it work. This is a time of great pressure. If your ascendant sign is Aries, then that means that this is happening in your second house. And in the second house, this eclipse will bring up issues around money and family. Family matters need to be attested to. You got to make sure that everyone is well taken care of in the family. Connect, associate, find out if they're all right. And your money matters. Taxes and money that you owe, this is a time that you're going to have to really uh, pull in and look at things differently. Now, it could be a time of great wealth because Rahu is in your second house, but you're going to have to reassess things in accordance to the family and how that money's being spent. So if your ascendant is Pisces, this will be a time where, and remember, I mean moon too, ascendant or moon. Uh, in Pisces, then this means that you're going to be traveling. There's going to be a lot coming about in terms of travels, communications, and possibly there's something that's coming up about one of your siblings. And probably if you have a younger one, that might be the one it pertains to. But all around, there is something going on for a sibling of yours if you have siblings. Another thing is... Your father may need some help during this time if your father's still around. It is a time to heal any problems that you might have had with family, with your siblings, and your father because K2 is in the ninth house. And if your father is still around, make sure he's getting his medical checkups. Make sure he's okay. 
This is important. Your whole beliefs about your world and your life are changing during this time. If you have Pisces as your ascendant. Now, if you have an Aquarius moon or ascendant, then this means that you've been wanting to move and probably chances are you will be moving. There's a big change coming about for the family. If your mother's here, get her checked out. Make sure she's feeling okay. I get that she might be worried or stressed or even a bit depressed. Be aware of this. So, but mainly you may be wanting to do some changes in the home, in the property, according to moving or selling, just something that concerns property and home. And it is a time that you will feel a sense of lack of security work on that. I also feel like your job is changing. Maybe that's where the insecurity is coming from. The job is changing this year. You're going to either let go, quit, go somewhere else, but it will change. Maybe even your boss or somebody at the workplace will change radically. That's if you have Aquarius moon or ascendant. Now, if you have a Capricorn ascendant or moon, then this is the time that I feel like children are important. If you have children, recognize that they need more attention during this time. They're, they're, they're stressed. There's a lot going on. But if you don't have children, this is a really creative time for you. It's time for you to implement a lot of your creative ideas, entrepreneurship, those type of things, new beginnings, investments. But be careful. This is a crazy up and down time. Don't be going out on a limb and taking too many risks when it comes to your investing or investments. People may be coming to you for your advice. Be careful and be stern and be clear as to what direction you're guiding them. If your ascendant or your moon are in Sagittarius, then you are being stressed with work. There is so much that you have to get done. It is overwhelming. It's over the top, but you can do it. But don't do it at the cost of your health. Please be cautious about health and healing during this time because this is all happening with your physical, your health. Make sure you're getting the proper rest. Make sure you're getting the proper nutrients, vitamins. All these things have to be taken into account. And if you have employees, make sure they're taken care of. Because if you don't take care of your employees or help with your coworkers, you may lose them. Okay, so watch that. And one more thing. Be careful who you share your confidences with. Because with K2 in the 12th, sometimes there's people that may be talking behind your back, especially in the workplace. So if your ascendant or your moon is Scorpio, then you've got K2 happening right in connecting with your ascendant or your moon. This is a time of letting go. It's a time of emotional change and possibly even a little bit of depression. Just something seems and feels so different in the way that you feel. And just the world has changed for you. It doesn't it doesn't appear the same way, your perception. You don't feel like you fit in anywhere. You feel disconnected. This is something that you've got to work out to feel a sense of connection. And your partner, if you are married, make sure that they are looked after because they are stressed to the max right now. And if you're not careful, it could cause some disruption in the relationship. So. Be cautious on how you react and exchange and communicate with, within your relationships. It could be a difficult time. So if your ascendant or your moon are in Libra, well, I know this is going to be a very intense year for you, not only based on the eclipse, but uh, the fact that Uranus, Saturn, Mars is squaring this position this year. So you're stressed 
to the max as well. But in accordance to the eclipse, this isn't easy either because this means that the eclipse is happening in your eighth house. There could be somebody that's close to you that, that may not make it this year. Please be aware. Be cognizant so possibly you could prevent things from happening. The eighth house is the house that deals with metaphysics and astrology and research. Maybe you're getting to the core and the bottom of all of these things because your intuition is expanded because you are connected to other worlds beyond this world during the time of this eclipse if your ascendant or your moon are in Libra. Another thing if your if you're ascendant moon or in Libra you might be looking at researching things and even maybe in some areas of your life you may need some investigation. Remember that. So if your moon or your ascendant are in Virgo then you're having a much better year than most because this eclipse is happening in your ninth house. So there's going to be travel, foreign travel, great learning and spirituality. Things are changing. But if your father's around, make sure that he's getting a checkup because this eclipse, eclipses are all about major change and it's happening in your ninth house, which is the house of the father, which could be such intense energy one way or another. If he's healthy and strong, he could be changing jobs, careers, something big is transforming. And learning and travel are the most important avenues of where you should be spending your time this year. And remember this too. Yes, that there is a lot going on with siblings. You may find that you have a brother or sister that needs some help. Watch for that. People with Virgo ascendants do not as a whole have healthy relationships with siblings. They always have one that's really hurtful uh, at some point in life. Now, if your ascendant or your moon are in Leo, then this means that You've got this eclipse happening, well, in the 10th house. And this is all about your work, your career. You may get a promotion. You may get an advancement. But boy, are you working overtime to achieve this. You're searching for something different through purpose and meaning in your work and your career. That's one thing I will say. And as a consequence, you may be looking at a move and a change of residence. Your family, you don't feel as connected. Maybe you're wanting to move back home or be closer or maybe the opposite. Move away from family. Get away. This is what I'm seeing. Home, family, and career are under direct change. So if your ascendant or your moon are in cancer, then this means that this conjunction of this eclipse is happening in your 11th house. You have major powerful people coming into your life that you didn't expect that can direct and take your life on a different course. So this is interesting. Powerful friends, associates, you're meeting new people throughout this year that are really going to change the direction and the path that you're on right now. Your life is about to change. If you have an older sibling, they may be a source of, of problems because they need attention right now. They need to be the focus. And another thing is, you may have a friend that is over the top too depending on you, what you can give them. If this is draining you, give it up. Go another direction. You don't need them in your life. If they tax and wear and tear on you way too much. 
but it is a year of great gains. You know, this is the house of gains and this eclipse will shift and open the door to some new gains within your life. Now, if your ascendant or your moon is Gemini, then this is a time of endings, letting some things go, some retirement. You don't have to be working as hard as you have throughout the years. It's time to pull back somewhat, experiment more with your spirituality, meditation, getting going deep within. And another thing I might add, foreign travel. You will be going to many foreign places. You may even be asked to speak or be a representative of something in other places. Exploring foreign lands and countries are going to be magnificent throughout this year. And I feel like you haven't been able to travel. Being Gemini Ascendant, that's something Gemini Ascendants love to do. But it is a time to pull back. It is a time to retreat. It is a time to take it easy. And it could even be a time of some type of losses. Take care of yourself. Take care of your own health. This could be a time of a major change physically for you. And it could end up being something good if you take care of yourself. Maybe a time that you go to some spiritual retreats, spas, places where you can find yourself and get in touch with your heart and your soul again. That is if your ascendant or your moon sign are in Gemini. So I've covered all 12 signs. I hope this gives you a much better idea of how to navigate during the next year in accordance to how this eclipse affects you. But watch the changes that occur this June. You'll be feeling it, you'll be sensing it and knowing it in accordance to what I just described. So with that, I'd like to close Remember, if you'd like to learn more about me, sign up for my free newsletter, go to my website, galacticcenter.org, and become part of our community. Learn Vedic Astrology with me by going to universityofvedicastrology.com. We are starting our new class, June 16th. Thank you.